Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing the quote unquote special tourist visa yet again. And we're discussing this in the context of the criteria associated with eligibility for this visa. Now, again, this visa is sort of being carved out of whole cloth. It's being created temporarily in order to deal with the sort of exigent circumstances we're dealing with and sort of the aftermath of this COVID lockdown. The Thai government is trying to encourage tourism while at the same time assuaging concerns associated with COVID-19 transmission. And they're, they're really trying, they're taking a stern line with respect to public health and safety. A recent article from The Nation, that's nationthailand.com, Articles titled Cabinet OK's Nine Month Visas for Foreigners. Quoting directly, qualifications for the visa will be based on tourist compliance with measures put in place to curb the spread of COVID 19 and agreement to spend 14 days in an alternative local state quarantine site. And we have we've explained alternative state quarantines in a prior video on this channel, a couple of them at this point, I believe. Quoting further, evidence of long-term residence in Thailand, such as hotel reservation, rental contract in traveler's name, or that of family members residing in Thailand, or title deed of a purchased unit. So again, this special tourist visa, it, in my opinion, appears to be kind of, kind of a stopgap measure to bring in certain certain folks that have kind of a, at least more than a tenuous connection to Thailand. It, again, p folks that have a title deed of a purchased unit for property here in Thailand, just as a for example, but, or folks with a long-term hotel reservation, rental contract, family members. Again, this, this visa, and I've noted it in other videos I've made contemporaneously with this one, this visa is it's not the end-all be-all, it's rather narrow. In fact, it's, it's very much an ad hoc solution to an overwhelmingly difficult and vexing problem. And I, it is laudable on the part of Thai immigration and the Thai authorities to come up with this. And hopefully we are gonna see some tourists coming in on it. But as you can see, just from what we're seeing in the immediate explanation associated with this visa, it is not going to be sort of a broad-based opening of the gates and just letting anybody into Thailand. There's gonna be a lot of protocols associated with screening associated with this visa. There's also going to be a lot of, or presumably a fair amount of documentation associated with showing that one has the means to maintain prolonged, a prolonged stay in the kingdom of Thailand.